Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and of course, good morning. Hello, hello, hello. How are you all doing? I hope you're all well. It's it's morning again. It's 10 a.m. again. It's come around really quickly. I don't understand what's going on. I feel like I should still be in bed. Maybe I should still be in bed. Who knows at this point? <laughs> hello, how you doing? Uh, it's uh, Friday. Is it Friday? It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday! Not that that really means anything to most people these days, because most people, uh, even if they do have Fridays off, no, even if they have weekends off, no, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> My point is, I'm working tomorrow, so, like, people can, you know, people go, oh, it's Friday, yeah, and I'm like, yeah, it's Friday. It's like any other day, really. So... <clears throat> so yeah, so uh, I've got a lovely, uh, a lovely six-hour shift this evening, and then a twelve-hour shift tomorrow. So, Ugh, so yeah, great. I love that it's Friday. I don't. All right, um, let's get into it. Currently, fifteen hours and twenty-six minutes in. It doesn't feel like we've been playing for that long, honestly. Um, I'm here's hoping that we get like another fifteen hours out of it because that would be great. Um, I doubt we will. I doubt we will. I have an idea of what we might play next after we finish Subnautica, but I'm not not entirely sure yet. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but for now, I'm concentrating on, on this, because I am loving this game. I am loving this game. Okay, so here we are. We're inside the base. Everything is... Everything is working. Everything's on and running. Our our bioreactor. We still haven't found a decent fuel for the bioreactor. That's that's the the main issue that we've got at the moment is that our bioreactor uh, our bioreactor isn't producing as much energy as as maybe I'd like it to. Um, so that's kind of annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Oh, we've got some titanium. Why have we got titanium? There we go. We have exactly enough spots in there to pop it back in there. Okay, so we've got some food on us, which is great, but we haven't got much in the way of water. So we're going to need to get some water. Uh, do we have some more water here yet? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Perfect timing. Almost. Lovely. There we go. So we'll grab that. We'll grab that salt as well. Um, so we we now we are now in a position where we never need to pick up salt again because we have so much of it. Um, so we'll we'll never have to pick up salt again. I'm going to take some of this water as well. Uh, that way we've got a decent amount of food here, a decent amount of water. We shouldn't need to worry too much about anything else. Um, if we're gonna go out in the uh, in, if we're gonna go out again and we're gonna take the uh, the sea truck and the storage module, I'm just gonna double check because I think it's this one that has the supplies in. It doesn't have any first aid, so I think we're gonna take out. We're gonna have to put some first aid in here as well because there is a good chance that we will get nibbled on at some point. Um, so let's let's remind myself what we I think it was fiber mesh I think we need so we need some creep vine samples so let's go and grab some creep vine samples while we're here uh, let's just make a bunch because we don't have the little machine that makes the first aid kits for us in this game we have to make them ourselves um, so in the in the first game you used to be able to just go Yoink, take the first aid kit, and then a little while later it would just make a new one for you, and then you could just take that one. So almost every time you came back from a, an excursion or an adventure outside, uh, you could get um, you could get another first aid kit, and you could kind of just store them up over time. Um, whereas, uh, whereas this, you can't really do that. Can't can't really do that. So we'll we'll make a couple of first aid kits to take with us as well, just so that we've got them just in case. 
Hopefully we won't need them, but it's better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them. Uh, right, so that's going using that. Uh, we've got a violet bow seed that we don't need anymore so that we can put that in there. I really wish... Really, Oh, I really wish this was... Uh, was bigger. If this was if this if the if the thing for the bioreactor was bigger, it wouldn't be so much of a problem. Oh wow, they've just been vacuumed up straight away. Okay. Alright, let's just quickly munch down on those. That should top us up a little bit. Let's grab a lantern fruit. Let's put that in there. So far I think the best the best thing that we've found for the bioreactor has been those yellow blobs. A mixture of fish and yellow of those yellow blobs, the um, these things, the root pustules. The root pustules seem to be the the best thing for us to put in the bioreactor so far. But the problem is, I don't think it's a renewable source. I don't think we can plant our own. Can we? I don't think we can plant our own. No, it's just found in caves. So it just has to be a case of going out, collecting a whole bunch, and then bringing it back. But so far, I think that's been the most effective, effective like fuel um, for that. Right, let's have a look. Um, uh, I'm going to change some of the uh, the colours of these these things as well because um, they kind of get a little bit. They kind of get a little bit uh, lost in with everything else. Yeah. Okay, I think we can probably turn that one off now. Um, okay, so... Oh my god, we've got so much stuff in here that I've just not looked at. Because most of this stuff I'm not going to use. Oh yeah, the still suit. I really want to make stuff like that, but I don't know if I can yet. This is synthetic fibers. It's this this is what we, we need to make. We need to find the spiral plant clipping. We need to get some of that, whatever that is. That's what we need. Because then we can make the synthetic fibers, and once we've made the synthetic fibers, we can make stuff like the still suit and uh, some other. There's some other things that we can make once we have it. So we need to find we need to find the, the spiral plant clipping. That is definitely something we need to do. We still need to figure out what the parallel processing unit is. So that's something we still need to do. Um, we need to still find need. Need to find more uh, parts for the blueprints for these vehicle parts, and the prawn suit grappling arm, and the ho the sea truck horsepower upgrade, <clears throat> and the ultra high capacity tank upgrade. Along with, I think this is why we need. Oh yeah, synthetic fibers for the sea truck depth module Mark Two, and I think, and then uh, we've got a little bit of nickel. We have got a little bit of nickel. We still need mag. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. We need still need magnetite because we don't have magnetite for these, and like the range upgrade is really important, and the HUD uh, HUD chip is really important, and yet we've still not found magnetite. So that's something that we really need to do as well. Um, so we just basically we just need like a whole bunch of uh, of the more rarer materials that we just haven't found yet. Um, you know, which is fine, I guess. Um, yep, we've looked at all this. What does the docking module actually do? Mechanical arms extend to automatically secure the prawn suit. Oh! So we need this to be able to take the prawn suit with us. Oh, cool. Must be attached as the final module to function. <clears throat> yeah, that makes sense. 
Huh. So that eventually, what we could ha what we could have is a whole line of trucks and the docks and docking and the different modules, all strapped together, with the prawn suit strapped on the end, and we could just take it all in one go. Okay. And it's big would be basically become a a home away from home. So what's the snow fox? It's a high speed hover bike. Will make you look cool. <laughs> um, while prov providing little protection for the pilot, the snowfox can easily outmaneuver most threats, especially when upgraded with a jump module. Just don't try to take it over water. Oh, okay. So this is just for terrain. Okay, that that's fine. That's fine. Um, this stuff is all fairly self-explanatory. We've already got one of those. Uh, we've already got one of those. Just kind of getting rid of this so that when we find getting new stuff, we can uh, actually find it easier. There we go. Get rid of all that. Oh my god, there's so many. Okay, well, I'll, I'll come back to that. Um... Uh, which one was it? No, is it this one? Ah, yes, the map. So, um, I was looking at the map again, and I realised that we'd actually been over here, because this is where all the lily pads are. It didn't even occur to me when we were looking at the map before that that's what that was, but that is what that is. So we have actually been over there at some point, um, though I don't remember... So that's the Omega Lab, so it must be really deep down. Must be really, really deep down. Anyway, um, I think for today... Can we just get... Can you just stop shining? No? Okay. Well, okay. Well, whatever. Um, I think for today we need to... We should be going to... Um, We should be going to go back to that um, the wreckage of that old of that old ship because we didn't really we didn't really explore it very much when we were there before. Um, so I feel like that is something that we should do. Oh, that's salt. Okay, that's fine. Um, what time of day is it? I don't know. What time of day is it? It's almost almost morning. So yeah, we should go now. Uh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okie dokie. So, uh, let's do a quick, quick repair. Morning, Pip. How are you doing? I hope you're well. Let's drop us into the water. Off we go. Oh, and already bashing into stuff. <laughs> Uh, good times. Okay, and then back up to connect. There we go. Lovely job. And off we go again. So yeah, so I think what we're going to do is try and find the... Um, try and find that wreckage again. You're not good? No training this morning? So much rain and wind? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's been super windy here as well. Um... It's, it seems to be the, the, the theme of the year uh, this year so far. It's just very cold, very strong winds. Constantly. Um, I was quite surprised. Because um, when I left for work yesterday, I didn't really think about it too much. And then um, when I actually got to work, it was just like... I was like, oh, okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> I guess I'll just get blown away then. Um, right. I don't remember. See, this is the problem. I don't remember where exactly where it is because I forgot to take a beacon with me last time. I think it's around here somewhere. I think it's around here somewhere. I'm just going to pick up some lithium while we're here. Uh, just because... 
I know that we're going to need lithium. He says, as he now cannot find any more lithium. I think, is that some? No, that's quartz. Okay. What's this? I'll get some silver. I don't think we really need any of this stuff, really. Just kind of want some lithium, but it's... Let's keep away from those guys, because they will punch me in the face. And I do not want to be punched in the face. If I can avoid it. Um... Huh, where's all the lithium? It was like, there was always lithium around here before, and now there's hardly any. Uh, it's great. Yeah, it's really good. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It's, a, it's, it's, it's different enough from the first one, uh, in, like, in sort of terms of, uh, the setting and how some of the stuff works. I do miss my, my Seamoth, my little Seamoth sub. I do miss that a little bit because it was quite nimble and agile and the sea truck is a little bit more cumbersome, shall we say. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, 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 really, I'm really enjoying it. Like the base building is, 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 is solid um, and the, the, the new addition of being able to like pin... Um, Recipes and stuff so you can remember what you need to get so you don't have to be like oh, I don't know what to get um, Is just the best Oxygen. Okay, where's, where's me think what is over there? What do we got? We've got a little bit of lithium, a little bit of lead, and a bit of silver, so that's alright. Hi, Sean Before, how you doing? Um, yeah, kind of. Kind of. Yeah. I mean, if you enjoyed the first of Nautica, then you'll probably enjoy this. Um, I'd say, like, uh, the, uh, I kind of missed the Seamoth, because the Seamoth was a really cool little submarine you could go pretty much everywhere with uh, for, like, a really long time until you needed to upgrade to, like, the Cyclops and the... Uh, and the um, the prawn suit, but the sea truck kind of fills the gap of like an in between vehicle between the sea moth and the cyclops. Because um, once you've got all the different bits of the the docking modules, it kind of becomes the cyclops, but like not quite as good. But kind of right. This is where we want to be. This is where we want to be. Okay. Let me go drop out a uh, a beacon. Because we have not explored this at all whatsoever. Let's go drop a beacon over here. Helps if I actually pick a beacon up. <laughs> uh, where did I put them in here? There we go. Um, but yeah, like it, it's 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 new and it's it, it, and new is usually uh, exciting. So so um, whereas in the previous game, like you'd have to go around searching for um, searching for wreckages to find all your bits and pieces. This one is a little bit more. Uh, kind of like just go out and explore and hope that you find stuff because there's not going to necessarily be a kind of like oh this is exactly what I need to find kind of thing um, always uh, you're not always going to find that um, can we get in can we get in is there a, is there a way in I can hear lots of things screaming and shouting, and I'm trying my best to ignore it in the hope that it just goes away and leaves me alone. That looks like a way in just there. 
What the fuck is that? That is a big boy. Uh, Shumperfall, I was about to say, I think I've seen pretty much everything the game has to offer, and then, and then that happened. Cool. I don't know if it's friendly or not. It doesn't look like it would be, but maybe it is. I'm not sure I want to get close enough to find out. <laughs> oh, careful. Careful, 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 careful. Right, if I back up, if I back up to that, then hopefully I can I can just go out the back and I'll be uh, I'll be in the right place uh, almost can I get through here is this a thing I can do I can pick up some metal salvage we'll do that just so that we've picked it up and we've got it in our in our PDA uh, a laser cutter fragment I don't think we need that See if there's anything else in here. Oh, another laser cutter fragment. I'm guessing we're going to need a laser cutter then. Fortunately, I have one already. Can we laser cut this? No? Can we laser cut this one? Aha, here we go. Yeah, always a well. The pr problem is the the surprise that's hiding somewhere is not always a nice surprise. <laughs> Sometimes it's a big creature that wants to bite your face. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to put this away. I'm gonna I'm gonna scan this just so that we 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 won't have it there keep ta taunting us. And I'm gonna scan the other one that we found. And then I'm going to head back to the ship, drop off the bits that we've got, get some more oxygen. There we go. Um, okay, and then this one I can put the I'll put the nutrient block. Actually, no, I'll put the first aid kit in there. Uh, and this one I'll put in nutrient block. We don't need that with us. I'll keep a first aid kit with us just in case. Uh, let's drink some of this water and stuff but yeah we should be fine other oh, metal salvage can go in there as well there we go i'll keep i'll keep the uh, for one first aid kit on us just in case because you never know what you're going to find uh, okay Anything to scan in here? Maybe. Oh, what's this? A PDA. Can we? Nope, we definitely can't open that. Okay. More metal salvage. <clears throat> Oxygen plant. That's pretty useful. Oh. Where does this go? Oh my god, I'm already regretting doing this. Another PDA. Okay, can we open this? Can we cut this open? Are these windows? No, these are stuck. Okay, uh, time to go back then. Time to go back. Just going to double check that I've got everything. Yeah, time to go back. I do not want to get stuck down there. <clears throat> Getting stuck down there would be would be bad. Uh, with there's a little oxygen and, uh, oxygen as we have. Okay, we've got another oxygen plant here, so that's cool. Ah, uh, that's the thing that we need. 
It's the thing that we need. We got the... Th oh, we only got one third of the thing that we need. Okay, well... Okay, that's, it's better than not having any of the thing that we need. So, I mean... That's good. Okay, do we need to cut this as well? We do. <laughs> yeah, I got really excited and I was like, oh. <laughs> oh my god, the battery on this runs out real quick. Fortunately, we have uh, found some more batteries uh, along the way, so it's not necessarily the end of the world. Has that spawned a new oxygen thing yet? No, it hasn't. Maybe the one up here has? Yes. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and grab the one in here. Ha ha ha! And then... Just double check there's nothing here. No. Uh, then we'll grab this one. Uh, and then, by the time I get around here, hopefully this will have a new one. Yeah, it does. There we go. Lovely. Loads of oxygen. Alright, I'm not going to go out there just yet. Let's pick up that. Anything in here? Nope. Let's grab this. That is a way out. Oh. Okay. We literally just ran the corner from the from the sea truck. <laughs> in that case then, we might as well uh dump this stuff in here. There we go. Let's do a little save. Right. And then if we head back down here, we should be able to get back in again. And we can continue from where we just were. Right, so we just came in that way. So let's go this way. And see what we can find. If anything. Oh! Ah, oh, nice. Okay, just checking that we'd, we'd scanned those fish. Oh, this brings us back to here. Okay. So this is the downstairs area that we didn't that we didn't go to. Ah, okay. Hopefully, we'll get another bit of that thing that we're looking for behind here. Ba 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 ba. Okay, it's two of three. Wow, we're really gonna have to like work for it, right? It's not just gonna be like, here you go, it's here. Okay, so we've got another thing going down there. What was that? Oh, that's probably for my base. Uh, emergency power only for my base. That I'm not at, so it's fine. <laughs> okay. In that case, what we'll do is we'll go over here and we'll grab the oxygen here. And then we'll go over here. We'll grab the oxygen there. And then we'll grab this oxygen here and then we'll go back downstairs. down here. This is just takes us outside. There must be another. We must have missed one then. We must have missed one. I don't think there's a... I don't think there's anything in here that's going to do it. Okay. We must have missed one. There must be another one somewhere else that we have not seen. Okay. 
Okay. So now we've got to try and figure out where it is. So we found... Oh, we found one in here. Thank you. Um, I guess we should look for other things on the wall that look like that one we just cut open. We found one in there. Does this one have one? Don't think we actually checked, did we? Doesn't look like it does. No, it doesn't. Do we have one on the other side? Nope. Oh, hang on. There's doors up here. Can we go through these doors? No. Okay. Uh, is there any way up? That we didn't gone? Nope. Okay. What about this? This thing? This a thing? Nope. Hmm. It looks like we can get under the stairs there. Oh, I didn't bring the rep propulsion gun. Maybe I need to get the have the propulsion gun to get into there. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we can swim through. Oh, I need to cut that open. Oh, okay. A reactor rod. I mean, that's not what I was expecting to find. But I'll take it. Yeah, if we'd had the rep propulsion gun with us, then we would have been able to get through there a lot easier. Uh, but it doesn't really solve my problem of not having the thing that we're looking for. Because we still need to find it. It's got to be around here, right? It's got to be in here somewhere. What about this? No. This. No. Unless there's like another area of this ship that we can get into, but I don't I don't think so. There's nothing in this bit. Seemingly. Warning. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah. Thanks. We'll come back. We'll come back in a sec. I'm definitely missing something. I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure what it is. Um, it's not going to be as simple as it being like right here, is it, in the entrance way? Well, now I am perplexed because. I felt like we should get all three of those bits in in this building and or in this wreckage. And now I'm not so sure that we are supposed to get all the bits in this wreckage because I've looked around and I can't find it. I mean that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not here, obviously. Cuz it could still be here. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Uh, can we open this? We still can't open this. We can't go through there. That's a window. Okay, that's definitely a window. All right, let's uh, let's head back. Let's head back to the ship. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, yeah. Um, unless. There's that. No, no, it was in a, it was in a little cupboard thing. It was just in a little locker, but the locker had been sealed shut, probably through like barnacles and stuff. I'm sure it'd be fine. I'm sure it will be fine. Uh, can you keep it down out there, please? Jesus Christ, it's so loud. Right, let's have a little eat. 
and we'll have a little drink. And then we'll, we'll go back in. The only other bit I can think of that it, where it might still be is um, in that little area that had the that we had to go through the pipe things for. Unless there was something in here that we've missed. I don't think so, though. I'm pretty sure we got everything from all of the rooms that we've been to. Pretty sure we've got everything from, from in here. Just looking for bits that we might have missed to cut open or... I am confused. I am confused. Okay. Let's grab the oxygen here. And then let's grab the oxygen in this one. Let's go back up through here in case in case we miss something back through here. I don't think it's actually in the tunnel itself. But it might it might have been in this room that we and we just missed it. I'm pretty sure we I mean we were pretty thorough with our check-in. We can't cut through that. I'm not even sure where that is. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, I know where that is. But like, pretty sure there's nothing else in here for us. So I am, I'm, I'm not really sure where we're supposed to find the other the other one of them it is a mystery to me Definitely don't have. We definitely don't have it, right? Yeah, we've only got two of three. We definitely need a third one. It's got to be in here, right? They wouldn't just put two bits in here and then no more. Like that, no. Inside there, no. Because that seems that seems a bit silly to me. If they would only put two of the three things in this, because how would you know where the other bit is? Unless, of course, there is another hole somewhere that leads us to a different part of the ship. But all the holes we've found so far just lead you to the different places of the same part of the ship. And this all goes round in a circle. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I am very confused. Because we did have a thing... Okay, let's have a look and see if there's anything here that's... I finished the reactor checks. We dumped a ton of runoff and we don't need the rods melting down. Then I helped with the scavenging, chopped some veggies with the cooks and tried to help Diana, but she sent me down to engineering with Stephanos. I've been working with him the last few days. Stephanos, how to describe Stephanos? He's by far the most thorough engineer I've worked with. And no ego. He never leaves a job undone, no matter how late it is. I've never seen him awake before 11, and he always greets me by saying, 
Kalimera, Yasmin, in the sleepiest role. Not a morning person, that one. <laughs> he listens with the slightest smile on his face and twirls this stray curl by his ear. He asks a billion questions, but I don't mind. He's a Sounds like she has a little bit of crush. There's an empty room on the bridge, just a spot of negative space in the ship. He set a picnic there and said, I need to relax. He even called me a busybody. There were these crazy glowing fungus things he found to set the ambiance. The most exciting part though, drum roll, he can jailbreak fabricators. He made a small batch of traditional Grecian dishes. But the craziest part, he managed to make a suitable falafel for me. I never thought I'd see a good falafel in deep space. Alhamdulillah. A quiet genius, that one. This planet may be a cold mistress, but maybe it isn't so bad. Nice. <laughs> you banging yet? <laughs> this that ship has multiple wrecks. Oh, okay. So we might need to go and find uh, another wreck somewhere. I can gotcha. only do repairs in spurts. Thanks. It's so inefficient. Hi, Grayson. Hi, Rice. Hey, Dan. Set off seismic activity nearby. A crew came back telling stories of gigantic worms burrowing in the ice. I don't know what they're all going on about. They were hypothermic and frostbitten because they walked back to avoid angering them. The ice shelf is probably a bit unstable and they got disoriented or something. To borrow from Diana. Orion's belt, thermal couplings, are not meant to be worked on in 20 minute spurts. If we break the process, we'll break the ship. What? But it's nice to hang out with Yasmin while we wait for the rumbles to stop. I hope she doesn't mind all my questions. Face lights up, and she's got the most expressive eyebrows. They're <laughs> practically acrobats. The way she looks when talking about nuclear engineering is the same way I look at my grandmother's tomates. The woman never sits down, though. She told me that she used to do decathlon in college, and I can believe it. She's like a bouncy ball, just all over the place. She makes rounds on the ship every day to see if people need help. Hmm. I should do something nice for her. She's always helping everyone else. I wish I had a fraction of her energy. Ah, <laughs> uh, Stephanus. Found one of the crash sites? Yeah, we, we found one. We found it before, um, but I've always forgotten to... Uh, I, I had didn't have a beacon on me, uh, so it was just a case of like trying to find... Trying to find it again. Now that I've found it again... We, uh, you know, we've been trying to get this test override module made, right? So, uh, I went through some of the the logs and stuff, <clears throat> and one of the guys said that he'll have to check the wreckage for the the thing that he needs for the for for that for that thing for the override module. So I came back to the test. Well, I went looking for the crash site. We found two of three. Um, but apparently there is there is more than one crash site. So now we're going to go and see if we can find a bit more of the crash site. Uh, it can't be too far away. I imagine it's relatively close by. But I'm not entirely sure where. Oh shit, that looks that looks pretty deep. That looks pretty deep. So I'm just gonna kind of do a, a little going around this one in the hope that we can find another one. Oops, sorry. Like, cause like I say, I can't imagine it would be too far away from, from that crash site.
Well, yeah, I know that. I know. Um, I'm ho but I'm hoping. I'm hoping because it looks mostly intact. This part, at least, looks mostly intact. That hopefully the like, the rest of it is is mostly intact somewhere else, not too far away. Ooh, lithium. Let's grab this real quick. Is there any other lithium around here? Oh, there is. I'll grab this as well. Lithium is one of those things where where you only kind of find it occasionally, and then when you do find it, you don't find a lot of it. And then, before you know, it's been used up. Um, so, so that's the beacon that we placed down for this over there. Let's maybe try this way. Oh. Some more lithium there. Hello? Hello? Can I? Hello? Thank you. Um, start at the top of the ship and go straight forward and down. Yeah, I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. I was just hoping that I might be able to like spot something in the distance, but it's it's kind of too difficult to see really. Um, so this, so we'd be going down this direction. Oh. Sorry. What the fuck? Is that more of that coral stuff? Oh, this looks like 